Hello, hello. So, I received after many, many months uh, my uh, new shade of the wall, my new print. And um, I wanted to share with you. So, it's still the same design, but I did two different uh, new shades. That is lavender and tamario, like a lime green, light lime green. And uh, the other one is charcoal and orange. So I'm gonna show you. So it's the same, uh, same size. They are exactly the same size. So with the silk, you can make a dress of a wrap or you can uh, make a sarong. Uh, I'm gonna show you some version and you have the cashmere that you can have sure has a shawl in that same color or you can play with the shades you can play with um, different shades plain color like this one for example that is chestnuts that match the shade that you have here So this one, it is a classic, really, really elegant shade. So you can have that, or you can have white, that is really nice. Simply white. Or you can play with the color of the design, like the lavender, that is so beautiful. with the lavender or with the green and here is the green voila so this is uh, the combination you can do with this uh, design and in this shade and I have only two sets of uh, this shade um, to set in uh, silk and in cashmere. So these are the one I have. So you see. So this, and you can do like a sarong. I'm gonna get undressed. So this is like that. I, I did like that. I hold it in my underwear and I have a top because I'm going to show you sarong version but usually you can be with just a strapless bra and you can even wear it like that very uh, loose so like this you don't have you know it's very comfortable and it stays in place because you hold it in your panty in your underwear so this is one thing and this is with just a nut on the shoulder. Now you can make different version of dress. I show this in different in other video. You can check it out, or you can make sarong. So to make the sarong, you fold it in two, and you can use it in both ways. You can use it that way. You can use it that way. It's a different pattern. And you can also use that in that way. And that way you can play with that. You can fold to make it shorter and have, and you put a belt. You can fold it like that. Because if you are shorter, if you are not tall, you can still play with that. You can also do simply like for the beach sarong you know, a simply a nut on the side, like that. And uh, you can use in the other way and play with the border as well. So in that way, like that. 
and you put your belt like that and you have a comfortable skirt it stays well because it's wide enough and you can again you can play you can have a top it's really nice with a top in a linen color of this color uh, i don't have one in this shade but it can be really really beautiful and you have you know your your outfit that is very always very elegant And you can play also with the different shades. The white always beautiful. With chestnuts. <laughs> I'm sure with these with this beauty. I love lavender a lot. It's a very soft, tender shade. It's beautiful with the green. <laughs> and this, when you want something a little bit more, you know, like bright, vivid, you have that. I love this green as well. It gives a, a very good energy. You have that, and eventually, I think maybe we can also overlay these two, or we can overlay the um, print one with a lighter one. Can be really nice. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try to overlay this one. I never did the combination, so I'm curious to see how it looks because by transparency it brings new shades you see the shades becomes different it's like in France we say moiré it's quite really nice the combination is quite beautiful of these you have that And also maybe to wear it in the other way with the green outside. Let's see how it is. Let's see how it is with the green outside. It's different. I prefer, I prefer with the lavender outside. Voila. And also what can be nice eventually it's to mix these. Because these two together are really nice. The half white, the white, and chestnuts, they are really good basics. And uh, they go very well together. So this, you're gonna see, it's really beautiful. And can be also another option. It's for that when you buy several, I know it's an investment, but you keep them your whole life. This is good quality and it's something you never get bored of because they are so beautiful. So here you can have this. You see the shades are becoming more subtle when you overlay because of the transparency. So it's quite really beautiful like that. And it gives, you know, if you have shoes in linen color or belt in linen color, you have a top in linen shade also, it can be really nice because these shades of green and lavender are really beautiful with linen. This is a little bit linen shade. So you can do that. Or you can also have, I prefer when I overlay with the print, I prefer the light one. So you can have the white with the print. You will see it's really nice. 
And you can overlay also the silk and the print. It's something else. If you want a warmer shawl on a you know, basic color outfit, white, gray, linen, or lavender, or any kind of shade, but you can do like that. It's quite nice as well to have a touch of white. Voila, so this is the wall. I told you the story of that one. It's uh, the wall of um, the studio where is the maker, where they print that. It's their wall um, that have not finished. When I was in Kathmandu and I went to visit them, they had the earthquake some years ago and they rebuilt that studio and they had no time to finish it. So it stays like concrete. And me, I saw, I, I found this so beautiful and I asked if it was possible to do a shawl. And they told me, yeah, if you do a picture of it. And I was like, I was seeing a shawl. And when I got it, it was beyond my expectation. It's, and it's such a nice symbol. It's a symbol of resurrection, reconstruction. And, um, and this is the wall where these shawls are made, in the studio where these shawls are made. So it's a very beautiful symbol. Voila, so this is in this shade. And now I'm gonna show you in the, in the charcoal. So you see, you can have, you know, all the shades together. You can have basics. White is a basic and it can change like you saw with the chestnut. It can change, bring a little bit of lightness to all the shade underneath. It's really, it's even very beautiful with black. The white with black give a kind of gray that is really, really nice. And you have a little bit of hint of white. So now I'm gonna show you uh, the charcoal. I'm gonna wear this dress because it's it's nice also with white. I'm gonna show you with uh, like that with white, but I prefer with a black or a dark gray. So this is uh, charcoal and orange. But I, I really like it with that. So I'm going to put this. I get undressed. <laughs> you even have a little striptease in bonus. And I'm going to wear this. Like that. Actually, I'm going to take off that, that bra. Voila. And now I can play with this. So you can have also a silk trouser, for example, very wide. You can have another sarong in silk basic underneath. You can have nothing underneath. But I cannot be naked here, so I'm just going to do it like that. And here it's the same. You can play differently. You can. Uh, the other one I was. Uh, the other one I did. The wall. Uh, fabric, all the wall shawl, and I just did. That thing, but you can see video. I did video of how I do that. So it's just to show you. You can use it in that way. And the same. You can hold there and drape it around you and put your belt like that. Just something like this. So it's quickly done, but you can have an idea. So this is what you can do and after the same, you have your cashmere shawl. Yesterday I was on the beach. I just received them yesterday afternoon and I, 
when I went walking, I said, oh, do I take that? I said, yes, take them. And it was no light, it was late. But I did these pictures, they are in my story now, and they are in my highlight, and, and it was magical. It was a little bit chilly, but the gray, and uh, with my hair, when I open my hair, it's really, really nice. So I'm very happy with this uh, design and with these shades as well. So this can be, you know, like the same, like with the, the cashmere uh, design in print, but also with the colors. It can be with the orange. And you can do the same, you can overlay the colors. I can overlay also the two shades together. I have charcoal here that match the charcoal of the print. Like that. I could eventually even think about the white. I'm sure the white can be nice as well here, as it is a very good base. Yeah, the white is nice as well. So you see, you, you have really multiple combinations you can do. And if I put the white the same under the, the um, print, it's going to be more vivid. It's going to be interesting. So this is the kind of wrap dress. But there are several. I did video about that. So you can look at the old video. And you can also, for example, do it. I did a video where I present like in winter with tall boots, you know, up the knee boots and with a short underneath and a t-shirt and you can just fold it in two and drape it on the one shoulder like that. And you can have the same, you can belt or not belt. You are not obliged to belt it, but you can belt it. I love this elastic belt because it's very comfortable. So you can belt it. So this is very simple. You can have a pants with pockets, uh, you can close it a little bit more. You can open it more if you want, just to have like a drape, something draped like that. And you can also, for sure, so you can have it just like that also. But you can also make a sarong. My favorite are sarong. Um, for during the day. So, for example, I'm gonna take it like that because you can have this side. What is nice with the pattern is that you have lighter or darker and you can use this way or you can use it this way. And it's up to you how you want to play with that. I'm gonna use it this way So the same, you can all just tight it like that. Very simple. Like this. And after you use your scarf. <laughs> like that. Or you can with a small top, for example, with a sweater or a small tank top or a, a beautiful shirt in silk, you can attach it. So you can roll it and put a belt.
And for sure you have your your salt. And we can have it like I show all the white. All the charcoal. I love the charcoal. Charcoal is also very good classic, very good basic. It goes with a lot of things. It's beautiful with jeans as well because there is a little hint of bluish inside. So it's beautiful with when you wear jeans. Or you can have the orange. Or you can have both. <laughs> you can also play with both. Or you can overlay them. Let's see, I never did this overlay as well. I just discovered this one too, but I'm sure it's really nice because overlay are really, really, really beautiful. They gave so many different nuances. It is always really, really nice. So we're gonna wear it this way. And we're gonna try the overlay. So the overlay with the dark, it's like that. And if I use it on that way, I think it would be nicer that way. Yeah, you see the shades? It's become like interesting. It gives different shades. So voila, like that. Oh, for sure, we can also do the same thing like that with the white. I really love the white to do this. It brings something like dreamy uh, to, the, to the outfit. The white is like a little cloud or something that, that is like in a dream by the transparency. And you can just play with this overlay thing. It's a little bit longer, so you have to, because the print design, they come in all different sizes. They are hand printed, and when they hand print and felt them, the, the sizes are changing. You can get back a little bit of length when you iron them. Voila, so it gives something like that. I think it's also interesting that and let's see the other way maybe voila I show you all the different uh, possibilities I gonna take this one And you see, as the design, as I show you, it's dark on that side, it's lighter on the other side. So if you want to play with the light gray, if you have a shirt or a top in light gray, you can play with these shades. Or if you have a long dress, light gray, you can use, you know, uh, also the silk on the lighter side um, to do a, sarong, a, sa a lighter sarong. So you can play with this. So, I just got five of the, of the charcoal and I got two of the other one. So if you are interested, you are welcome to contact me by messages. Um, I hope it works because um, I have some issue. For example, now my last post, I have 50 messages, 50 comments and um, I cannot see them. I see only 10 of them. I think uh, I am shadow bound. 
Uh, people cannot uh, tag me because this will give me more exposure. Uh, I have almost nobody now watching my video. I had thousands of people. I could have up to 16,000 people watching the video some months ago. Now I have, on the last ones, I had only 800. So uh, a lot of people are sending me messages telling me they don't found me in their feed. And this is a shadow burning. So it's for two reasons. Uh, it's because I post things that are with controversy regarding the actual worldwide situation, but I cannot shut up. And also because I am a small business and they do everything they can for us to take uh, their ad. So to, to pay, to have visibility. So this is uh, the situation, <laughs> but okay, we're going to deal with that. I'm going to see if I have some question. We never know, even if there are not a lot of people. I don't see how many people are, are watching, but uh, I'm going to see. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, it's nice, the brown, the chestnuts with the, the with, uh, uh, it's very nice with lavender, it's true. It's, these chestnuts, in fact, gives, uh, it's very rich as color and it gives a lot of uh, uh, something like precious, very subtle. It's, uh, it's one of the basics and, and it, it's a little bit chameleon or chameleon, I don't know how you say, because when you put on another shade, uh, it's really changed and, uh, and it goes with all the shades. This is really amazing. I tried, I love with uh, Lagoon. Lagoon and Chestnut is my favorite combination. It's really, really beautiful. It's like precious. It's like a gemstone. It, it's really, really nice. Yeah, the brown is great. It's called chestnuts. Hmm. Voila, so you know, I waited four months to get these. And uh, ah, also, I wanted to let you know because this I had it, I, thought I wanted to show you. And I was out of stock of this shade, and this shade is back, so I have it again. But this it's in my video, so this is a wall in yellow, gray, and blue, and uh, I have it. I receive it in cashmere and in silk. So this is back, and I have five set of each. So it's not a lot, and I don't know after when I'm gonna be able to get them. It has been very complicated because. In Nepal, the situation is really bad. So people uh, have very big difficulties to work. Um, I just also got all my, not all, but a part, a big part of uh, my order of yak because I was out of yak and uh, it has been really difficult for them to get the fiber. Uh, it took them months. So uh, now I finally got some of them and uh, I'm gonna post more about them because I have to. I have new combination, new mix that are really, really beautiful. The albino with the brown, with the gray beige. Um, uh, it's really, really nice. They are really precious because uh, the albino um, uh, yak, the albino yak, it's same color as my hair uh, because they have no pigmentation. The, the, the hair, the, the fiber is a little bit different in texture. It has a more um, silky, silvery. It brings a kind of silvery shade when we mix with the brown or the gray beige. And it's really, really beautiful. And I did two different variations. I did, uh, I, because when you use a thread in one way or another way, you get fringes in different shades. If the albino is used in length, the fringe is going to be white, they're going to be albino. If the albino is used in width, 
the fringes, for example, with the brown, are going to be brown, and it gives a totally different shade and a totally different feeling by the finishing of the color of the fringes. So it's quite very interesting. I love to play with this. I'm a little bit crazy about that, but it's beautiful. It's like they are all, all beautiful. And I did also the mix with the brown and gray beige, and it gives a kind of more animal feel, like rustic, and it's and really really nice and now i'm waiting for the felted and knitted i also will get soon the albino precious mistake that you maybe know that is this one that was a mistake and uh, and i love it so i'm out of the albino precious mistake i had only three of them i'm gonna get three of them so uh voila this is what I, I wanted to share with you. I check if I have some uh, some question I don't see. I forgot also to tell you that I, I launched this badge to raise some money for the orphanage. I forgot always to say that at the beginning of my video. And also I receive a lot of messages of people who are like worried, asking me what to do, what to don't do, what to... And it's what I, the only thing I can say, uh, the, the only thing I can say is be patient. I posted about that. Be patient. Be patient. Don't rush. Don't be, act on fear. Don't act. Be present in the moment and make the point. What is more important right now in the moment? What is the danger right now in moment and if there is danger be still i don't say if there is danger coming stay there no i say if you feel you don't know what to do because there is all these things going on take a pause be you with yourself be still wait be patient be patient it's not even waiting it's just to be present in the moment and to be patient to don't do things without considering, considering uh, everything. Get informed. Um, look at different sources, the one and the opposite one, and and feel what what sounds right to you because you may have some priorities that are not the one of others, and. Um, yeah, I know you, you say, Juan, it's about the post related to that thing. Yeah, sure. But it's not only that. It's also, uh, I have a friend also who has a small business and uh, she's taking care of my website and uh, she saw the difference. Since many months, she was used to have 2000 click a day. She has only not even 100. So it's, an, it's like uh, all the platform with Google are connected together and with the algorithm we are, and she's not posting anything about that. So it's not about this controversy, it's about her small business because there is a will to put down the small businesses or to oblige us to take their ad to pay to be visible. But I don't think we are even more visible. This is a thing. So. This is what is going on, you know. Oh, my skin. There are video about my skin. You should, uh, you should watch my video about skincare. It's there. Skincare, care, teeth care. You have everything. There is nothing special. I use oil for my skin, and uh, voila. So you can check it out about that <laughs> in the video. <laughs> Voila, so um, I wish you a, a good night. If you are soon, it will be night here as well, if you are on the other side. And a good day if you started your day. And um, I think I will come soon with uh, some, some guests. Uh, one is a French friend uh, who, during the pandemic, uh, decided to write a book and he did and it's amazing because you cannot let the book the rhythm is fantastic 
and uh, it's very so I think we're gonna it's in French so I think we're gonna do a video in French with him and also we may do a video about skincare with my friend in uh, in Australia uh, with Abigail that some of you may know so we're gonna do a video uh, with Abigail also about little things we do with our skin just exchanging chatting and exchanging about that and uh, I invite you to look at Abigail O'Neill uh, page and you will discover a lot of beautiful things also uh, about food about chocolate she wrote also a beautiful book about uh, models and chocolate so this is um, something you can investigate as well because making your own chocolate is really good really good for the health and really good tastefully <laughs> so big kisses to everybody thank you for watching and uh, at very soon